Maria Theodova. Her early life. Young Maria was born into royalty. Born November 26, 1847, to her parents Christian and Louise of Copenhagen, Denmark. She had five siblings. Alexander, Alexandra, Princess Thyra, George Frederick, and Prince Vladimir. Maria's parents were known as the grandparents of Europe. Her, fam her family gave royal concerts for the throne of Russia, Great Britain, Romania, and Spain, becoming a Russian emperor. Maria was engaged to Grand Duke Alexandrovich. They married in 1866. She gave birth to six of their children, Nicholas of Russia, which was also known as the last Russian monarch, Grand Duchess Olga, Grand Duchess Zinnia, Grand Duke Michael, and Grand Duke George, and Grand Duke Alexander. Alexander III took over the throne when Russia was at its worst. He was crowned in Moscow on May 15, 1883. He was the son of Alexander II and Maria Alexandrina, raised as a grand prince and not a czar. He was destined for a military career. As the ruler of Russia, he made sure his country was never in any wars. He was considered the most serene czar and was nicknamed the Peacemaker. He later died of kidney cancer at the age of 49 on October 20th, 1894. After the passing of Maria's husband, she was later married Lawrence de Orsay. Joining the Red Cross, Maria became president of the Red Cross during World War I. Maria was very popular and well respected because of her charity work, social skills, and beauty. Revolution came to Russia in 1917. She stayed in Kiev working for the Red Cross after meeting her overthrown son. Nicholas II was the last czar under the Romanov rule. He was born Nikolai Alexandrovich Romanov. He was born in Polsk, Russia on May 18, 1868. He was his parents' firstborn. Maria provided a nurturing family environment. His father shaped his con conservative religious values and beliefs in autocratic government. Nicholas received his education privately. He had a high-ranking government official and a private tutor. He was very good in history and foreign languages, but he didn't have understanding of the politics and economics. He never had the proper training in state affairs. Nicholas becomes emperor. His father ascends the throne in 1881 after his grandfather's assassination. At the age of 19, he joined the army and spent three years in the service before touring Europe and Asia. He was very passionate about the military and he became colonel. After his father passed, passed on, he became emperor of Russia. He wasn't ready to be czar and confessed to a friend, I am not prepared to be czar. I never wanted to become one. I know nothing of the business of ruling. The fall of the Romanov Empire. Kiev became much too dangerous for Maria to stay. She left Kiev and went to Crimea with a group of refugee Romanovs. She found out her two sons, daughters-in-law, and grandchildren had been executed, but did not accept the news. She continued to work for the Red Cross in Russia, even though she had been overthrown. After her sister's persecution, she left Crimea on a British warship and lived in Birmingham, UK. She returned to her birthplace in Denmark and never accepted the truth about her sons and grandchildren. She hoped they survived the revolution, the death of an empress. Maria passed away on October 13, 1981, 1928, in Denmark.
Her funeral was held at the Copenhagen Russian Orthodox Alexander Nevsky Church. She was buried at the Roskilde Cathedral in eastern Denmark. Maria wanted to be buried next to her husband. In 2006, her remains were returned to St. Petersburg, 78 years after her death and 148 years after she arrived in Russia.